This is the BMW X4. You're probably wondering how many X vehicles does BMW have in their lineup? Well, there's the X1, which has been around for quite a bit. And then there's the X2, which came out last year. And that's quite a funky looking, spotty uh, version of the X1. Of course, different shape. And then you have the traditional X3, which uh, has been around, the X3 nameplate has been around for a long time. Then you have the big X5, you know, the X5. Of course, recently you had the X7. But the X6, my personal favorite, the X6, I remember test driving it many years ago when it first came out. And it, it, it was basically a 5 series that had been, you know, given more height and bigger wheels. It, it handled beautifully, it commanding view, it looked great. So now what BMW did, Sorry, not now actually. Uh, in 2014, BMW released the first ever X4. And it sold 200,000 units globally. Now what they did was they took the X6 and they scaled it down a little bit because not everybody wanted the X6 because of its size. And also it was a little bit more expensive. The X4 came in cheaper, less price. Still, it had everything that the 3 Series sedan had in terms of... Uh, you know, wheelbase and size and engine and uh, powertrain delivery. So it was basically an SUV designed to compete with its own X3. But because of its different look and different profile, you know, it, it got a new set of customers. And it's very simple because why? Not everybody likes that upright um, uh, SUV look. So this is what you call a coupe crossover or a sports SUV or you know sports activity vehicle you can call it anything you want basically it's an x3 with a coupe profile and it sells really well so this is the latest version came out in may last year and it's selling for three hundred and eighty thousand ringgit so how does this bmw drive well as you can already tell sound insulation is very good build quality you can see all around you, it's BMW quality. Uh, there's never anything lacking. Trim, material, soft art panels, uh, how they play around with metallic surfaces, in mood, uh, cabin lighting, switches, buttons, it's predictive uh, feel and all that, you know. Gear shifter, they give you a gear shifter. Some brands don't give you a gear shifter nowadays. Nice, meaty steering wheel. How does it feel? Feels good. Steering feel always on BMWs, spot on. It's a driver's car, you know that? I don't have to tell you that. If you've never driven a BMW, go and take one out for a test drive. You can start with the most basic and you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, sound system, Harman Kardon, very nice. Uh, roof lining, uh, yeah, even rear seat comfort is pretty good. Yes, BMWs tend to be a little bit harsh on bad surfaces like this, a little bit bumpy as you could say, but why? Because they use high profile wheels big wheels in other words low profile tires because they want to give you their on the edge handling and drive dynamics so there's a trade-off if you want very good handling and dynamics you have to give in a little bit on seat comfort and ride comfort but it's a good compromise that's why I say BMW are for drivers and the rest are for commuters now engine two liter engine uh, four cylinder turbo it's got about 252 brake horsepower, 350 newton meters of torque. And that torque comes in very early at 1,450 RPM. So very early in the bandwidth, you can feel the engine already working for you, as you can see here. Brakes bite really well. Progressively or hard braking, it's a good bite. And it's a nice drive. You got an eight-speed gearbox, semi-automatic. You got pedal shifters here if you want to get a bit exciting. But it's a sports coupe SUV high-riding vehicle. You don't want to be going very fast. Yes, on the straight, why not? If you're playing in traffic, this is not really the kind of vehicle you want to do it. But it's capable of doing it. Top speed, 240 kilometers an hour. Now the zero to hundred dash. Quite impressive for vehicle this size and just a two-liter engine, 6.3 seconds. Now, you know BMWs, they've always been designed to entertain the driver. That is why you have 
you know, people are always saying, oh, you know, BMW drivers drive fast. BMW drivers don't respect others on the road. It's not that. It's just that when you have an entertaining vehicle, you don't want to be doodling in traffic like these guys in front of me. You want to be putting your foot down and extracting power from that engine with the gearbox playing nicely for you. If you want to go on your manual shifter, look at that. So nice. It's entertaining. So why drive slow?